today we will be presenting how we use Python to extract uh, data from the SPRMs of Fender's database and how we convert it into a machine readable format uh, that will be available to the public. Um, I would say one of the most important ones for us was a uh, beautiful soup. It was uh, really useful when it came to extract the data, uh, the images from the website, and also when it came to handling uh, the multiple pages on the website, because uh, we wanted the code to be uh, automatized so uh, it could, the code could run by itself and be able to find out uh, by itself all the pages on the website. Sometimes the inconsistent um, structures on the websites, a lot of data was missing, the images. And uh, one of the ways we uh, tried to overcome that was to have a portion of the code uh, handling the errors so it could be able to run and not break even if it's if there's data missing. Yeah, uh, so here we have just some screenshots of uh, some of the functions uh, we used. As I said earlier, we have here uh, the get to the next page that we called it. And uh, it was really to be able to scrape through all the pages. We used the soup find method. So we have the anchor to find the string that uh, represent like uh, how most of the website, the, the, they used to go through the next page. And also I would say uh, the one that we used to extract the data was a uh, sub find all method so we can have all the information uh, regarding to the offenders and be able then to put it in a data frame. And as I mentioned, uh, inconsistent data was one of the big challenges when it comes to this, came to this portion of the code. So we had here a really brief part to um, be able to continue even if there's data missing. There is this one that is disregarded here that were the politicians, which is quite surprisingly because there is only one case of a politician regarded in the database. So just, <laughs> yeah. We also found that, uh, actually found out <laughs> last night that some of the offenses were um, when we extracted the, because in the summary of offense, they actually mentioned how much they were received or paid uh, as part of the corruption. And I found that about 30 cases where the amount is actually far exceeding the penalty that they received. So like in this case, the, the amount was 71,000, but he was only fined 2,000. Yeah. Um, so there were 30 cases like this. Uh, there was also a case where the, they got a land of our house of value of 500,000, but also but was only fined 10,000. Authorities from other countries can also use this data for their own use. We can also map it to beneficial ownership schemes so that we can find any relationships with companies, uh, private sectors, and so on.